Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where unfortunately you join me on a horrible day. It is raining at the moment, but inside the trailer, Turbo Transport's trailer, we have my SLS AMG Black Series here today at Topaz Detailing to get started with protecting the beast. Step one is of course to get it into the wash bay to give it a complete and thorough wash. The stages like the snow foaming, which always look very good fun as well. So we need to get the car out of the trailer, into the wash bay, out of the rain and get cracking on here at Topaz. Topaz. We are with Tony, Mr. Turbo Transport, who has very kindly brought the car over today. Of course, now in its mystic blues, having completely had the car resprayed top to bottom in my choice of colour. Obviously, before I can drive it a mile on the road, particularly with this horrible weather, obviously it needs to have paint protection film. So the first step is going to be to completely wash down, prepare the surfaces before they get touch-ups, details, checkovers to make sure all is well before you lock it in underneath the PPF. Obviously, many of the Schmeemobiles have been here to Topaz Detailing through the years to have their protection work done. And that is when, of course, the car will also get its badges on the back. The badges that we left off because of course it was important to get the PPF done first so that those can go over the top rather than having to remove them later on. So in a moment we'll get this started, get it out of the trailer, inside the wash bay where things can get beginning. So Tony has just climbed on board to get the car started up so that he can bring it out of the trailer. I'm going to stand back and take a listen to the V8 as it comes back into life. It's such a good sound. Deep, raw, angry grumble and this car is so wide look at it from here the fog light or reverse light as you can see now it's the same unit is one of the things that had to be changed as part of importing it just to get that swapped around to have a uk right hand drive light in effect but this car mystic blue my color of choice that i considered for the g before we did the topaz skin on it but in this case it's an original mercedes disigno paint and look at it it's almost it's almost a purple and of course i love my purples obviously from the likes of my 675 LT, which has been here at Topaz as well. But this thing is just the ultimate beast. It is so unbelievably cool as a car. And listen to it grumbling away. And it's going to be completely perfect. Of course, all of the parts will eventually get protection film. All of the bodywork, the headlights, the carbon fiber, everything. I am gonna be doing some changes to the wheels and a couple of other things in due course as well, of course, installed the carbon fiber mirror caps. Thank you very much, Tony. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Hopefully you'll be able to get a proper drive out in this when all is done. Definitely. Actually, I say that, you have driven it. You drove it when it was, when it was silver. We took them up to, uh, to Chartwell in the first place. We took the SLS and the GTR Pro up together and uh, Tony piloted the other one and we swapped around a bit. All right, looking perfect, ready to, uh, to get cracking on. Step one is always to start with the wheels and the arches. So of course, a few washes with these using different brushes, special brushes for the purpose to make sure that they can be cleaned up. These are the original wheels from the car, just to come around to show you what we have at the moment. This was the option wheel, actually. There were two different options. The standard wheel for the SLS Black Series was a dual tone wheel. I mean, this is still technically dual tone because it has that silver rim around the outside. And obviously you've got the carbon ceramics tucked in behind. The process starts like this. We come around, put the brushes over this side. Obviously, lots of appropriate setup to go all the way around and work on those to get things started. Now, that is a nifty tool to get to the back of the spokes. That is the kind of attention to detail that this car is going to be going through now. Literally, every single part of it will be fully washed up so that there are no contaminants or anything, a dirt or anything. And obviously, there won't be much, but even those small times where you take the car out and you maneuver it around outside, the wheels, of course, can throw things up, can flick things into the arches, and potentially that can then end up underneath the paint protection film. That is why you do this, even though it's just been, of course, polished and detailed as part of the paintwork process. We need to make sure that when it's locked in under the PPF, it is locked in correctly. The delicate work to get the arches to go all the way around the inside of the wheel arch liners. A big place for, of course, dirt to gather. And we need jet wash. And of course, all set up properly for the purpose. The wash bay here with the right lighting to really and truly find anything that could be potentially wrong with the surface or any dirt that could be left on the car. Obviously, a critical part of the job is having all the equipment and all the setup. <laughs> Sounds so good. Started up then just to pull the car back a touch. 
the wheels get a complete second round. And of course, the best to do that is to move them back half a rotation to make sure that the other side can be fully accessed and obviously go around them properly because it's sometimes a little bit awkward to get to the underside um, when they're obviously the other way around. Something else I am going to need to do is that I'm going to remove my number plates. They're in these license plate number plate holders at the moment. Those will come off. Eventually, the plate will go straight uh, onto the plinth on the back. But obviously, all of this, this whole contraption is going to be removed um, when the body parts get paint protection film PPF installed on them. Um, so we'll do that a little bit later on. But of course, round two, starting with the wheels, getting a spray over with the solution on the top of them. To start things off, inside the back of the wheels, they do actually have a protector. Uh, it's a thing on Mercedes cars, which means that it's a little bit awkward to get all the way through and make sure they can be fully, completely properly accessed all around. Of course, a little bit easier at the rear because of having smaller discs, smaller brake discs, and larger wheels as well at that. I think the standard is 20 at the rear on these and 19 at the front. Standard setup. Of course, very, very fat wide tires on them as well. In fact, much wider on the Black Series than the regular SLS as part of the extra width of the car. Remember, it is a huge chunk wider. We'll have heard more about that and some of the other details in my induction tour where I showed everything about it. Another rinse down to go around them all again. The beautiful view inside the engine bay. Next up is going to be going around all of the shuts. So for example, going through some of the excess areas on the engine bay, the fuel filler cap, and all of those parts. These kind of parts are absolutely critical to go around all of the shuts, all of the gaps, to make sure that there are no bits of dust or particles, obviously the badges as well, things that could eventually be underneath the paint protection film. You need to get rid of absolutely all of it through every panel gap, around every access area, everything, for example, the fuel filler cap, which is this very bright standout silver. To be honest, I actually really quite like it. It's very bright and stands out, but will look even better when the wheels are the same color to match. It'll be things like you know, the gurney flap on the back of the wing, going around the tail lights, the exhaust tips, all of the vents and openings, all of those sections. Everywhere you could imagine that dust could gather, it needs to be carefully, carefully removed um, before obviously the car goes through. After the shots, it gets another rinse down, and I apologize that it's quite noisy, but it's got to be done. The car's kind of mysteriously in a cloud, a bit of a sauna here, of course, with how cold and wet it is outside and now how warm from the jet washing inside. And now it is going to be time for one of the best bits to snow foam at the car to see it transformed. So let's <laughs> see how this goes. It's always such a visual thing, seeing a car obviously completely changing how it looks as you use the snow foam, which is again a solution, of course, intended to loosen up anything that might be left on the surfaces. But visually, it is quite striking as the entire car changes completely to look like this. <laughs> I just find this bizarre to look at, to see it like this. Of course, the mystic blue hidden away underneath that layer of foam over the top. But it works magical wonders. It just happens to look pretty cool in the process. Look at that, as the grill goes white. I guess I've got a white SLS Black Series now. Wasn't the color I, uh, I was going for, but you know, it looks all right. After the second snow foam, basically a bit of a shampoo, a rinse down, wash down over all of the panels, using of course the softest of mitts to make sure that nothing gets scratched or anything like that in the process. Finest microfibers and going over every section of the car. Now that's some effective double rinsing. Go over the car. Yes, I apologize, but it's really loud when the jet washer is running. Part of part of the project is work, I suppose. The car will be rinsed back down very shortly. Now that we're back into our sauna, of course the drying stages, using a very large, very, very soft drying towel, patting it down as opposed to kind of striking it across the paintwork to dry up all the excess water that's on the surface. It's getting really noisy now. The airline going around, obviously getting out any excess water. I'm not going to film this much because it's loud. <laughs> The car is all dry, so it is time now to bring it into the workshop proper and then start off obviously having an inspection and working out what's going to be happening next. I love seeing this thing on the move. So aggressive and rumbly and raw and just everything the car should be. And also while we are here, reunited with the Zenvo TSRS, the car that we had a look at before, the car intended to be the showpiece at the Geneva Motor Show, of course with its very special and unique carbon fiber designs. As you can see on the weave there and also around the side, the Zenvo lettering on the door panel, which I think is some really cool touches, and of course their carbon wheels. This will be um, parked up here all in place then. 
And that is that. Nice. Obviously, the removal of the number plate, it's quite easy to do this. We've got the plate plinths, which are used over in Germany, and you can kind of just snap them in, snap them out, but they're going to be put on properly afterwards when all of this is complete. Obviously, to do the PPF, though, the plinths themselves need to be taken off so that it can be accessed all around. Now, we have just been doing a little bit of an inspection going around the car, and of course, the guys have finished the paintwork incredibly well. And if I just turn on the light to come and show you this a little bit, of course, the paintwork is without significant holograms, been detailed and polished and well it's basically ready to go straight away it is a mercedes with factory paint remember chartwell are a mercedes body shop with the original designio mystic blue paint color that has come without orange peel normally you'd obviously have significant ripples in the paint and nothing like the same clear reflection that we are spoilt with seeing here so this has come out very very well it's going to make the process very easy um, going ahead and around the front of course the number plate has already been taken off the plinth has been removed and i tell you what this car with no front plate. Looks awesome. Seriously, seriously cool. Um, unfortunately, I can't keep it that way. It will need to have a plate put back on afterwards. But yeah, it's really impressive. The paint job is very, very good on this. And the extra touches of the carbon, also a nice thing to have as well. Some very, very quick progress is making way here with the car. In fact, paint protection film installation starting almost immediately. And I will tell you that some of the panels actually already have it. One of the amazing things about PPF is that you cannot see it. Of course, paintwork like this, we want to keep the car looking perfect forever. If you put film over it, it will protect from light scratches, from stone chips, from things that might fall from trees, for example. Small things that would otherwise cause defects in the paint. And I can tell you, having that clean mirror like reflection remains underneath the PPF and will look fantastic into the future. So we'll have a quick look at this process, but one interesting thing about the templates, of course this car is about seven or eight years old, so when it was originally introduced, techniques back then weren't refined in the way they are now for creating templates for panels in terms of the edges, in terms of multiple pieces. Now Topaz work on cars like this all the time, updating and upgrading their templates, and in fact they did an SLS Black Series quite recently as well, which means they have templates to the modern standards, and those are what have been pre-cut and ready on the uh, back rolled film to go onto this car which we'll see some of i will come back to see some of the more intricate parts because i always find it fascinating how ppf can go here for example onto the carbon fiber onto the flicks onto all of these various different areas as well as the more obvious large smooth body panels of course each panel needs to be slightly prepped in advance a bit of playing has just been done it will go through the various stages with the slip solution which we can watch some of it's quite fun to be to see that going on obviously this is one of the larger panels a bit of a curve to it but not too complicated not too intricate the slip solution obviously will enable the surface to have the material slid around basically put into place to avoid some of the excess get squeegeed off a bit of a process to this but it's always mesmerizing to watch because obviously you start with your perfectly detailed panel then you're going to see the film as it gets applied and then ultimately it will vanish at the end it will be totally invisible at the end of these stages and this goes over all of the painted panels you can even if you have a car with satin carbon you can have it done with a satin film as well to keep the original effect or you could even give this car satin carbon should i wish we could do all of these parts with satin film over the top but we're going to be going gloss because that is how it looked <laughs> the machine gun style slip solution to get the car prepped fully for the first piece to be installed. So, back rolled, pre-cut templates. Obviously Topaz have the best of the best systems for doing that, for ensuring that all of the shapes, whichever they may be, you know, even if it's something simple like a headlight or even the headlight washer cover, all of those parts are all perfectly templated. Then the trick is to basically take away the slip solution from the start so that there's an area it can stick down to because you need to have something that holds it effectively in place Will you then back roll and peel away the entire piece of the protection film you can see carefully maneuvering that out and getting it ready that then starts things off loosely in place this is always quite fun because remember this is going to disappear this is going to be invisible on the surface of the car before too long Paint protection film is fantastic for cars like this, especially if you've gone to you know, the extremes of a colour like this, something special. You don't want to have to respray anything in the future if you don't need to, and this just does a magnificent job of just saving all those small things. That's why I have it on all of my cars that I use on different trips, just to make sure that they stay in good shape. 
So this is where it needs some slip solution over the top so that the squeegee won't actually scratch the film. Remember, it is self-healing film, so you can put some hot water on it if you do get some light scratches, for example, warm it up and actually take away many of the things that even the film will get and then if it gets worse you just replace the film on that panel rather than having to respray with a blend so, you know a color like this let's say we got some damage on the front wing you've got to blend it in if you respray it so you've got to blend it to make sure it all matches up and works and fits correctly so next stage is using basically some fixed solution to hold it in place to get an area a starting point really just like so, delicately put into place to begin with. Fix solution will hold it and pull it towards the edges. You can imagine some of the more curved shapes, that's really important to make sure that it all works uh, and stays in place correctly. But watch this as it starts to vanish. There's a bit of fix solution as well at this side of it, of course, to get that into position, basically to use the material then to adjust and make up the other shapes of the car. This is quite funny when you see it like this, see it all almost stretched out over the surface but knowing that it's all going to sit perfectly afterwards. That whole larger curved section then has almost disappeared now. You can see just pulling together the various parts and then afterwards the edges and last touches will be done. Of course, now it needs to work over the top. You have this crease line that runs all the way along the shoulder of the car and using things like that to help work it into, into place. And just like that, the panel is complete. Like I was saying earlier, totally, totally invisible, but protected. You know, imagine somebody comes up, leans against the car, sits against it, a button on the back of their trousers or something, puts a scratch on it, or even if you brush past something or a stone flicks up and hits it, this protects the paint underneath. And I can tell you, when you've spent the money to have your car resprayed in your choice of color, knowing that it has that protection for driving adds a significant reassurance to enjoying it and it keeps it looking better and it's easier to clean when you're out and about as well so the pre-pf process has started here exciting times it'll take obviously a while to get around the entirety of the car but we will also see some of those finer details and some of the other parts being done in due course as well and on that one i'm going to leave the car for the time being of course there is a lot to be done gigantic panels like the bonnet for example this is one huge piece in fact it's more than one piece because you also have that central part you have the blades over the vents there that you have towards the back this it's not too complicated as a car i believe to do the ppf we'll try and catch up with a few more stages to see more of the parts going on some of the more intricate bits and then of course the completion when it gets the plates properly stuck on it gets the badges back and then it'll be time to take it out and i guess hopefully start some of the adventures so a big thanks as always to the team here at topaz for allowing me to see a little bit of what's going on as the car started off in the wash bay and then came through as well to some of the ppf that is it for now though thank you very much for watching as always guys and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.